me. Don't touch me. Let's just let yourself. Don't touch me. I said, don't ask you anything, but don't touch me. I mean, wahala. Like, wahala. Like, wahala. Like, wahala. The Big Brother Niger house every day, every time, like every if you blink, you miss it. That's just what basically happens in that house. Hello, guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Vicky. And if you're seeing my face for the very first time, please, please consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. And please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below what your thoughts are, or just to encourage me. Oh, yeah. Please do it right now. Just give it a thumbs up. So, guys, like you have seen, Wahala actually happened. Like, Bege just busted in the Big Brother Ninja house last night. Like, middle, middle, middle in the night when you people are sniffing and snoring, your girl is here waiting to get the gist for you guys. Okay, let me tell you guys what actually happened. So, yesterday was Friday, and then the housemates were giving the keys to the fridge in the garden. You understand? And normally, they would just open the fridge and drink the drinks that are there you understand so the housemates were gathered in the garden having fun catching groove you know drinking and you know when alcohol enter body how will they be mouth will start to run people will start talking anyhow actions will be different you get people will start basically misbehaving if i if i can say that you understand so they were drinking and then they started talking about different things and then it got to a point they were now talking about ladies who ask men out like like so they were like is it right for a lady to ask a man out or that is it good or sure just talking about ladies that ask men out you understand and then Nengi was like that if she likes a guy and the guy is actually not looking her way that she can actually ask the guy out or can actually chase after the guy you understand that she has even done it before you get you cannot shame the shameless at this very point because if we are truthful nothing will hurt you get so after Nengi said that Erica was like ah that she she doesn't like chasing a man that she likes a man chasing her that was just the beginning of the problem that was about to happen in the house you get so when she said that and then <laughs> what tony who is a subtle table shaker what tony who likes to take shaking tables as if she doesn't know what she is doing what tony now turned and asked um kid wire kid wire you you don't like chase yeah you've never chased a girl before right and then <laughs> kid wire was like no that he doesn't chase after a girl and i'm like hey wow like big gay. and i'm like what's going on here like what was the meaning of that question and what was the meaning of that reply that kid wire actually gave you get and then erica was like so what are you trying to say say it with your chest blah 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 and then i was like hey problem don't they come oh problem don't they come you get and then she was like say it with your chest whatever you are trying to say whatever you're implying say it with your chest and he was like i'm not saying anything i just asked kid wire and then he answered and then she just got angry and went walked pass and went to the uh, hoh room and you know kid were now realizing that ah maybe i've done more damage than good you understand later went to meet her inside the room and then she was just fuming she was really really pissed to get she was just fuming and telling kid why that eh that eh, why she doesn't he like defending her when they are inside he said he's always she, he always have her back but when they go outside he always act differently why is he being an hypocrite why is he being two-sided this uh, ah she said a lot of things to kid why kid why was like i'm a guy i did not really take this thing the way you did guy babe chill you get and she was like no 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 you know that what's only like gossiping you know that what's only like strange shade you get why did you allow her do that you know what only is always wanting to throw shade always wanting to gossip always looking for a way to actually make some she was just like off it and then kid where i was telling her it's okay and all that and all that and then the camera moved from them into the house what only was just sitting in the lounge uh, sorry in the dining and we were talking with other housemates they were just gisting and you blow and then the next thing what only was like let me go i want to go and sleep good night guys let me just go and take some rest you get and then what only walked out and went to the bathroom or something you get and then the next thing they showed us when when um, erica and what only they were having a conversation she came out to confront what only and was like what did you say what were you saying what did you imply why would you be saying that about me and then what did he was like, i did not mean anything is it because of man that you're coming to confront and she, she just like i'm not coming to confront you because of man but you like throwing shit at me if you have anything in your mind tell me if you have anything against me and i'm like hey because at the table kid when um, what already said that ever since that day that she had a kiss with kid wire eric has been looking at her somehow somehow you get and then the next thing voices were being raised though you get and what 
Watani was like, you don't want me to talk because Kid um, Erica was just the one talking, 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 talking. And then Watani was like, you don't even want me to talk. I have a child and I'm 29. I cannot, I not come here for a man. All this man, they my senior them you get. And he, she was like, you're 29, at your age. Watani just says, since you don't want me to talk, okay, let me go. She walked out and she went back to the dining. Oh, Erica carried herself and came and stormed back into the dining day and was as in, she was raising hell. She was like, you're 29, act your age. You have a son, you're 29, act your age. And then I'm like, God, what is going on here? You know, the problem of this whole thing is, after they had that big game, and then um, Watani was telling her that, are you fighting me because of a man? Is it because, what is this whole problem? Because Erica was an inch away from having a physical combat. Because I feel like if she's having a, a confrontation with someone, she don't go too close because not be outside with that anything you will get disqualified because she was already touching Watoni on her shoulder and Watoni was like please do not touch me move back you get that kind of thing and then they were just having this back and forth until I think Tricky T now came to actually pull her away because at some point when they were even having this confrontation and shouting or that pata pata that is in the middle of it all our one and only kid wire was in the um, kitchen preparing what I don't even know what he was preparing whether it was noodles but he sure was preparing food he did not even he came at some point when he saw that the thing was actually almost getting physical you get he now came to try to talk to her and she shone as in Erica she shone him and he was like okay oh. Oga went back to his cooking and all that and then Trikiti now came and actually pulled her away but wait let me <laughs> wait let me just say my own in this whole drama in this whole saga that has actually happened you know the truth of the matter is a uh, from what we have actually been watching, I think Erica is moving too fast than she is supposed to do. And instead of she to slow down for for Kid Wire to catch up with her, she is trying to force him to catching up with her, you understand? Because for some reason, I just feel like she can't even get her hands of this guy they are always either kissing they are always either making up they are always either chewing each other's mouth and all that and then guys you won't believe that lucy and uh, lucy and then um, dorothy they went into the um closet they were at the closet and lucy wanted to bring up the conversation and then dorothy was like i bet she doesn't want to put her mouth she, that lucy should not put her mouth in that matter she doesn't want problem that lucy should just stay on her own like be quiet about the whole issue that that was happening anyway they actually did after every of the big she now went back into the um hoh lounge and she was just arranging what wasn't scattered um, um scattering the bed and arranging it again you know that kind of a thing when you do when you're so angry and mad and you don't even know what to do maybe trying to hold yourself so that you won't be acting foolishly or you won't do something stupid she was just arranging arranging kid wire came there and was just looking at her she was just nothing not that she did not say to kid wire that um uh, i am fine we made out and i really i liked you i enjoyed it but i don't want to have anything to do with you in fact uh, over my dead body i'd rather die than have anything to do with you and like i'm like hey Eric, I don't even say what you will not be able to do. Don't try. That is what that was the first thing I said in my head. Don't even try to say what you cannot do because at this point, that your threat is invalid. Invalid because you cannot keep it. There is nothing she did not say to Kidwire that Kidwire is a hypocrite. Kidwire is so faced, uh, saying all sorts against her. And then Kidwire was like, just calm down. I did not take this thing as much as you are saying it. I got your back. You know, in this whole house. I'm the one that actually got your back. And then she started crying. Crying, I don't know if she's crying for sympathy or crying because she was hot. Yes, she was hot, truly. Because it, at this point, it's looking as if, God, I was thinking, um, oh, oh no, all of a sudden, it's just looking as if everybody is against me. Or all of a sudden, it's just looking as if I'm the one chasing after this guy. Well, if you ask me, I just feel like her emotions and Kid Wire's emotions are not on the same level yet. You get, at least she feels something deeper than what a kid wire actually feels for her so maybe that's where the whole problem is coming and then somebody tell me why did kid wire the whole the auto and finisher of this whole problem because if watoni has asked that question and then kid wire was like no i've chased somebody before even if he doesn't mention erica's name they would have been honor but the fact that he just said that yeah and he doesn't chase after you and i'm like ha ah, kid wire causing problem and then erica said the way she fumed towards watoni and the whole altercation you understand that happened you didn't even carry that same energy to kid wire all she was saying that she doesn't want to have anything to do with a uh, kid wire and i'm like hey today that is saturday now and that day we are expecting to watch one thing or the other now you people want to start having quarrel now so that we will not see you people do what you want to do but guess what that was a lie 
kid while I later came to the room after the kid after a much talk 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 the next thing a uh, kid where I was trying to tell her that I have your back don't say that I'm the only one in this house that have your back I care about you I this whining her like he normally does because kid where has sweet words kid where is a playboy that as he, he has flows you know he get moves from out he could just give you one sweet talk like this your head go bust your farrow may go bust he would just be like ah <laughs> this guy really care about me but now knowing that he doesn't mean one bit or maybe he ha actually does he get so that's just what the next thing she just after kid where i just gave her all those sweet words of how much he care about her then she just held kid where i started kissing kid where i'm like i thought you said that you would rather die than have anything to do with kid where i guess the physical attraction <laughs> is so strong or it's so much you're you're so held down that the physical attraction cannot let you go and i'm like oh these people you guys will not kill me so that was just basically what actually happened that night this didn't happen at about past one or thereabouts and i'm filming this video just early this morning at about two to eight or so so i hope you enjoyed this video what do you guys think about this erica kid wire relationship do you think that erica is moving too fast like i think or do you think that the he's reciprocating it or what do you feel about it or what do you feel about this sub <laughs> this sub that what Tony actually gave to erica what do you guys think about it is she to be blamed or is um kid wire's response to be blamed leave it in the comment section thank you so very much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and please do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video take care of yourself i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys